Hey guys, um, it's me coming to you guys again this week. Um, I just wanted to talk about a little bit more, giving tips for um, weight loss and kind of like break down what I'm doing a little bit more in detail. So basically, like, I know I've said to you guys that like I'm watching my calorie intake and I've incorporated some um, exercising, some cardio, like 30 minutes, three times a week into my schedule and drinking a lot of water. I've completely cut out soda and fruit drinks are very like at a serious minimum because it's still like I used to like when I used to cut out soda I used to just drink a lot of like fruit drinks and like juices and stuff but that's pretty much still the same thing. It's just as bad. It's, except with the acid corrosion thing going on. Um so yeah what I did to kind of help figure out how many calories I can eat without being too fatigued and really starving myself is I went up on this like little we uh, website that a friend uh, suggested to me. Lulu, stop. Um, it's called shapeup.org and I'll post the link in the information box down below. But um, basically what you do is you enter your height, your current weight, your age, and if you're male or female, and it calculates your resting metabolic rate. So it all it calculates your RMR number. Um, your resting metabolic metabolic rate number is the amount of calories you your body can intake and maintain the weight that you're currently at. So you know not to eat over this number of calories because you'll know that you'll gain weight and you know that if you eat a certain amount under these calories your body will start to lose weight just um, on its own because your body can there's a certain amount of there's like a, a limit to how many calories your body can intake whether it's going to gain lose or just maintain and this also helps as far as like finding out if you plateau um, it helps finding out how many calories you, you're eating because you may be eating the same. You may be like, well, I'm going to cut my calories. Say like, for instance, my uh, RMR number is 2,024. So that's how many calories I can eat to maintain the weight I'm at right now, which is now 273. Um, so I've cut my calories down to 1,500, um, between 13 and 1,500. So if you, so say if I lose a whole bunch of weight, say if I lose like, 30 pounds, whatever, and then, um, actually what I'll do is I'll put in, I'm on the website right now, so I'll just go ahead and put in, you know, the weight difference, say if I lost 30 pounds, that will put me at 243, so I'll just make that an even 240, and then, um, put in my age, sex, then the amount of calories would change to like 1800 okay so say like if you get to your goal weight whatever say like my goal weight is i wanted to lose 40 pounds and got to my goal and then i was still eating that same amount of calories so like if i just chose like i'm gonna eat 1800 calories whatever and i'm still eating that and i plateaued and i was still eating the same amount of calories i'd be like well your body's not gonna do anything your body's not gonna change because that's the amount of calories your body can now intake so that it doesn't change. So this is like, a, it helps, what I'm trying to say is like it helps as far as kind of help kicking your junk, your plateau station and like getting out of that. So you know, okay, well, now to shock my body, like if you get to a certain point and you've been eating that same amount of calories, maybe at that time, at that point of your plateau, your body can intake that many calories and stay, stay, you know, maintain the weight that you're at. But if you still want to lose weight, now you know, you can go to this website, calculate how many calories you need to you know, eat less, like how many calories you need to be taking, taking out of that equation so you can lose weight again, so you can like jumpstart your plateau and kick it out, you know, kick it from your little maintenance level. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I, it makes sense in my head, so I know that when I explain things to people, sometimes it's, I don't explain it well, so I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, um, but 
if you need me to let like let you know, I'll totally like email you or something. Just like hit me up in my inbox or comment me. Um, but yeah, this is basically just a video saying there's a website so you can help find your uh, resting metabolic rate number, and that way you know how many calories you can intake and how many calories you should deduct down to. You don't want to deduct down too low because you can become really fatigued and your body's not getting enough in it, getting enough at all. And then that just puts your body in starvation mode and it just harvests, like, it just holds onto the fat. And then burns muscles for, for body, you know, for the energy. And that's the opposite of what you want. You want to burn the fat. So, um, I hope this is, like, a health, you know, a good tip. Um, I'm still sticking to my diet as far as, you know, my 1,300 to 1,500 calories. Um... I think that's probably why I'm dropping so quickly, and I have I've only worked out once this week, so I have two more times to work out this week before the week is over. But I am doing my final measurement, like my official measurement and uh weight update on Friday. So that's just was it two days from now or tomorrow? I don't know. What day is it? Oh, it's Thursday today. Okay. <laughs> Well, then, um, yeah, I'm doing that tomorrow, so you guys will know how many pounds I've lost since then. Uh, which means I probably should do probably, like, an hour workout today, since, since I'm not going to be working out Friday. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned, and hope this was informative for you guys. If you have any questions, again, please let me know, and I will post the link to the website I'm telling you about in the information box down below. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time.